Today we're going to show you how to make a super fun anti-gravity toy using fantastic floatable stringless balloon weights. There's absolutely no strings attached. What you need is our balloon weight. You need cellophane tape. Inside of our package comes the weights for the balloons. You can make two 18-inch balloons float with that and it comes with instructions showing how to put it on different types of balloons but we're interested in the flying saucer style that we have pointed out right there. When you get your balloon inflated bring it home and to remove the string. Oftentimes we'll take our balloons and bring them in garbage bags so we don't have to have a string put on them but just remove the string roll up the nozzle and tape it to the side of the balloon with the cellophane tape. This keeps the nozzle out of the way and it makes it so that the toy works properly. The next step is to locate where you want the balloon weight. Now you take the balloon weight, the no strings attached balloon weights, and remove the counterbalances. We'll be using those later. As I said, this will work for two balloons, so you fold it in half on the crease and fold it several times just so it separates easily on the crease. The next step is to remove the paper backing from the clear plastic weight tabs. This paper backing should be saved and then you can put little tabs that you've removed on them for later use. The next step is find the nozzle and center the balloon weight pack on the bottom of the balloon, centering it on the smooth surface. If you happen to misapply it, you can reposition it and then move it and then apply it with a circular motion to secure it to the balloon. The next step is the counterbalance that balances the extra weight of the nozzle so the flying saucer will fly level. Next, we remove the paper backing from the A tab, the counterbalance for the nozzle, and find the position on the balloon where we want to locate it. It's opposite the nozzle, in line with the weights, on the bottom of the balloon. You can put it on creases, it will stay secure. There's a position, there's the counterbalance, there's the weight pack, and there's a nozzle. Once they're secure, then you drop the balloon and see if it will float. Normally, it will not float. Normally these will be too heavy and will go down to the floor. So you will have to remove weight tabs from the balloon to lighten it up so it will hover in midair. And this is how you do it. You just simply remove the tabs until you believe that you've removed enough to test it out. Take a few off. As we're showing you here, you just take a few off very simply. And then once you've removed a few, you drop it and see if it will hover. This is a trial and error time. Uh, every time you drop it, it will get closer and closer to floating at the height that you want. Once you remove enough tabs and it hovers in midair, then it will just hover at the height that you've set it for and it will cruise around the house. These are extremely entertaining. What we want to also impress upon you is that these can be adjusted for all different heights. You can adjust these weights, just take them off and raise it up higher or lower, anywhere that you want. Uh, lower for little children, higher if you want it to hover over parties. But they're absolutely incredible fun and very, very easy to do. We want to show you a couple little points here. Sometimes the balloon will hover higher or lower depending upon temperature variations in your house. If it gets colder in your house it's going to go up so you'll have to add a few more tabs as we've shown here. Those are tabs that were stuck on that extra piece of paper that we saved earlier. Now it's too heavy so we'll simply remove the tabs that we put on and now it should hover in midair without a string. And you can see that these are absolutely totally different than any other balloon you've ever had. Any balloon on a string cannot do what these do. These are a blast.